Hi friends, this is Jessica, the Sweetwater Stitcher, and I'm here today with a special edition of what to bring to a retreat. I also am going to share with you what I am giving for my table gifts, along with I have made something special for my two roommates. Now, I'm prefacing this with the table gifts and the extra gifts for my roommates who are my friends, which is why I'm doing it, um, are completely not necessary. But it's something fun to do if you are like me and you like to give gifts. Um, it just brings me so much joy to give things, to make things or buy things and then give it to people. So if that is you, then you might be interested in doing something like this if you are to go to a retreat. Um, but if not, that's fine too. And feel free to watch and see what thing, what are some things that people might be giving you along with um, some ideas if you decide to do that. After my retreat, which I'm currently at the retreat right now, um, I will share with you the things that I received. Now, one thing I did not bring, actually I did because it's in the bag. I forgot. <laughs> um, I'll show you something that a lot of people do give out to everyone at the retreat. Um, that is another thing people do is they will bring something small that they give to everyone. I have not gotten to get my act together to make up bags for everyone for this retreat. Um, however, I have done it in the past, but I spent more time um, for this retreat getting together other gifts. And I've also just been a lot more busy um, and so I just didn't have time to do that. But that's how it goes. Sometimes you have things and sometimes you don't and it's perfectly fine. All right, I'm gonna switch to the other camera to show you what I'm giving to the table, my table mates, um, and then also the things that I, extras I made for two of my friends who I'm going to be staying with. And I am going, slash I'm there right now because this is pre-recorded, <laughs> um, to the Beach Please Retreat, which is in Clearwater Beach, Florida, and it's hosted by Stacy and her husband, Brian, who own Thread the Needle Stitchery. And they currently live in Florida, but they are moving to Tennessee, I believe. And I'm not sure if they're opening a brick and mortar or it will still be online, um, but look out on social media for Thread the Needle Stitchery and more information on that will be to come. All right, so what I made for my table mates is I purchased this bag. It looks similar to, if you know what the bag Stony Clover um, makes, they sometimes put in embroidery. This looks very similar to that. I bought this bag, however, at Hobby Lobby. It is a small square bag, and I did, prior to buying it, I made sure that my items that I was making would fit in it, also, a pair of scissors, and I'll pull out one of my pairs, a pair of scissors will fit in this bag. So I wanted to make sure that after I gave the gift that they, the recipient could take everything out of the bag and they could use this bag either to put notions in, maybe they keep it in like a everything travel bag, or if they wanted to put this in um, a project bag, or they could just put this in their purse or use it for whatever. Um, but like I said, I bought this at Hobby Lobby. And inside of the bag, and each one of them are different, and I'll have some pictures at the end of um, the different needle books, but each person inside received a keychain and this is also from Hobby Lobby and I thought it would be fun to either they could put this on the um, the hook of their the zipper of their bag or they could put it on a floss ring just and if you wanted to put something on it I was going to um, write beach please retreat but I just ran out of time so that does have I don't know if you can see it has like some color sparkles on it I just thought it was fun um, and then I also put these 
thread holders. And these are the ones that are metal and they wind, you twist this and they pop off and they're in fun colors. And I found these on Amazon and I will link these. They came in a pack, they had other colors than just these. These are the colors I picked out. There was also purple, blue, yellow and red I think in the pack. Um, and I forget how many you got in a box, but it was a good deal and just to, something different. I have a large box of the silver ones, which are perfectly fine, but these are fun. So I tied both of those together with a little bit of um, jute. So that is in the bag. Also, this is the item that a lot of times people will put together boxes and they will pass this or boxes. They'll put together bags and then they'll pass them out to everyone. And I have done that in the past. Um, but there, these are floss cards and this is a picture I took of my stitching. And then on the back, I just put my logo on here. And some people write floss number. Um, they might write like maker or number or whatever so that you can label it on the back. You also don't have to put anything. I do not have mine pre-punched. Some people who don't like to use them as floss cards, they might put them somewhere, so I didn't wanna punch them. But all you need is you need a punch at the top and the bottom, and there's enough room to put a rather large punch. And I don't have one over here, but I have a couple different ones. They're just, in the scrapbooking section at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or even on Amazon. So I have a pack of those for each person. And these are again, this is for my table, so they'll get this. And then I also made every person a needle book. And these are the needle books I was talking about on my floss tube last week that I put together. These are four and a half inch circles of press on board. They came in a pack pre-cut from Fat Quarter Shop, so I did not cut these myself. You obviously could. I just was making six, or I think I made eight of them because I made a couple extras that I'll share who those are for too. Um, I was not about to be sitting here cutting out these circles when they were already pre-cut out. So each needle book needs a, um, a four and a half on the top, and on the bottom, which those are the same fabric. And then they need the smaller circle for the inside. And on the inside, underneath of here, I have a rare earth magnet on either side. And then I have some of the Lori Holt Rick Rack. I put a ribbon. This is a ribbon that I bought. It's frayed on the ends from Hobby Lobby. And then this is some, um, Quill tape that looks like a measuring tape and this I bought from Amazon. I know that Fat Quarter Shop sells it now. So it just, you put your needles in and it sticks together. And I, this is again in the mercantile fabric which I was also talking about. I really, really love those colors. You could do it in any and I'll show you another. I have two other, um, Examples because I made for my um, roommates, I made them special ones that go with fabric that I know they like. The other ones, I do not know who the other people are gonna be at my table, so I just use the fabric that I liked. So all of these things are in the black little bags and this is my gift for my table mates. You, like I said, it is completely not necessary. You can give floss cards. You can give um, a gift I received is uh, from Alicia. She had these made. I believe this is, oops, sorry, from R&R &R Woodwork. She had these made for us, and this was our table gift at a retreat. Um, I mean, really, you could give anything. Or, like I said, you don't have to give anything. But I know a lot of stitchers, just, I think it's just in our nature. We like to share and give. And so that's, I feel like where this whole table gift came from. So this is for everyone at my table. Then I also, because I'm 
extra or over the top, whatever you want to call it. And this is again, completely not necessary, but I wanted to share in case you are wondering. Um, I did make a special bag and I, they're blue one to set them apart, but then I, they ran out of black and I thought this was, or it's like an aqua. It's really pretty. It reminds me of the beach. So I thought it would be perfect. Um, for Emily Call, who is the designer, and Stacy, who is the host, I know they won't be sitting at my table, so I wanted to make them something special. And in their back, so I bought keychains that have their initials to signify that that's their bag. And then they both have a needle book as well, different fabric, um, and the cards and the um, the floss tags. So they have the same stuff in the bags, but then they also have a special thing with their initials on them. So that was for the designer and the host. And I've seen other people before bring extra gifts for them as well. All right, then for the peop the two ladies I'm staying with, who are Alicia and Jody. Alicia is the fanciful flamingo, and Jody is the uh, simply stitching Ocala. For their gifts, I put them, and I already took it out just so. Oh, that's for a different one. Just so you could see, I put them in these bags I bought from Amazon, and I had these left over from uh, when I did the Twelve Days of Christmas um, Advent bags for Chantel and Nicole. So if you have extra bags, keep them because you might use them for something. So they're wrapped in this and then in their bags, these were some other, I sometimes I will just buy little gifting things because I know I'll use them for retreats and then I have kind of a stash to pull from. So this is just a little notebook I had bought um, for Kohana when I bought some other things, some probably some scissors. It has little, needles on it just has graph paper on the inside and then for alicia i made her a stitching case with her monogram on the top and inside i put this is tula pink fabric and she is the fanciful flamingo and i already as another gift at one point had made her a retreat mat with this fabric so hopefully she brought it with her so it all matches for her <laughs> or she has it I know um, so the tulip pink fabric this is one of the I glued the magnet down in the bottom of this box so that um, needle minder sits right there then I have Rick Rack up here and I put some special stickers these are from Erica Arndt who is um, Confessions of a Homeschool Mom is her website and this is a sticker pack she's doing once a month and this is the February one which was pink and I thought that matched and then I have a blue one and I'll show you the other pack that is available right now and then this sticker which just says Floss Boss and I believe I bought this sticker from Rachel at Needle and Flax she had some on her website so I bought that. So those are up here in the top. And then this is her needle book. So it has the flamingos on the front. And then on the inside, this is another coordinating fabric with the Tula Pink line. Again, the same uh, ribbon here that attaches it and the, the twill tape. So when she uses this or gets it, the needle book fits perfectly in this section. However, you could take it out. It I don't know if it would fit up at the top or not, but she could use this somewhere else and then she could put other things in here, but it all matches together. So that's the first part of the gift. And let me show you the other one, which this one is for Jody, Simply Stitching Ocala. And she also, I have a um, notebook for her then her monogram on the top 
and hers on the inside. She loves Bonnie and Camille, and this is some Bonnie and Camille fabric. I thought it was really cute because it looked like stitching. Her mat is different. She made her own mat, and it's a different fabric line, but it's still Bonnie and Camille. And then hers has coordinating fabric as well, but I know she loves teal, so that's why I chose these colors for her. And then she has some rickrack along her pocket. And this is another pack of the stickers. This is like a multi sewing pack. So it had all kinds of colors. I thought she would enjoy that color way. So those are the gifts. And I also, um, let me see. They both have, they didn't have any A's, so I got Alicia a V because that's her her last name starts with a V. A uh, keychain, and then in the inside of her bag, she also has the same items. And Jody has a one as well. So that'll be the table gift. And then, if that wasn't enough, again because. I just am a little extra and I like to give gifts and I it's just fun for me to make these things. And I, if I don't make them for someone else, then I have too many. So I made the three of us matching cups and I hope you can see. So we all have the blue corksicle cup with um, a monogram on it. So that is just an example of some things, especially if you're going on either a girl's, maybe you're going on a girl's weekend. Like when I went to Chantel's at 141 Design Company and spent the weekend with Nicole and Chantel, we, Chantel gave us cups. So um, adding in cups or anything matching that everybody could have together, it's just fun. Um, and again, if you don't want, if you're not into this, that's okay too. It doesn't, it's whatever is in your comfort zone. But I know people have asked about this before, so I wanted to make sure to share it with everybody. Okay, so that's all of the gifting things. Then what I wanted to share, and let me move this out of the way, and I'm going to go back to the other camera. Um, let me put this here. I wanted to share, trying not to have a topple over situation. <laughs> I wanted to share some of my stitching mats, which I've shared them before. Then also the um, jewelry box. I brought over one of what it looked like before to show you. And then I'll kind of show you my setup and um, my bag that I'm going to bring and kind of what I'm bringing in it. All right, so the first mat I wanted to show is this is one of the mats I have that has stitching in it. This is a make your mark chart that Chantel at 141 Design Company, she sold as a kit. Now it looked completely different in her kit, but I chose to do it on this fabric with the pink floss and it matched this line of fabric, which I love. So this was the mat I made. On the back, it is a simple, just plain. So this is one of the stitching mats that I made and it's to sit on my table. This is the stitching mat that I showed the other day. So this is with the Lori Holt fabric. This has no stitching. It's just a, the whole background is all just a piece of fabric with the pocket. I also have this mat which is the original mat that started it all. <laughs> this is a pattern from Screen Door Needleworks, and she has other states as well. This is the Florida pattern. I did adapt it. Um, there was the Florida flag here. I took that out, and then I changed the colors to match the fabric. I bought the fabric, and then I wanted it to match so it would all go together. This is on 25 Count Lugana. And then I this is all Tula Pink fabric. And this is what started the whole stitching mat uh, production. Now, these are the three mats that I have. I also 
have um, made mats for people. So I've made more than just this. Now, if you say, I don't want to make a mat, but I'd like a stitching mat, this is a mat that I have that I bought from Missy Lynn and Co. And let me see, I don't have her um, card. But she, they, her and her friend, her name is Melissa, and then I am blanking on her friend's name. They make stitching mats. So this mat has a lot more things in it than mine. This has like a, it comes with a thread bed. The pockets are a little different. It has a little needle book, a needle minder, and a scissor case. And it's a little bit wider than mine is. And then it's also a little bit um, shorter. So same idea, a little different. Um, these are pre-made. The way you purchase the mats from her company I will put a link to the Facebook group in the description box. You join their Facebook group and periodically they will announce that they're going to have a sale. You have to pay attention to when the sale is because the items go really quickly. They make the mats. They also have some different items that go with it. They have um, some different types of project folders. So some you if they have a different it's all on their facebook group so go over there and look at it but they have all the pricing like if you buy a mat and a a stitching um i forget what they call them but basically the case and all that stuff you get different percentages off so if you're at all interested go over and look and i'll put that below and i've shared them before but i just wanted to share because i have this mat too um that if you say, I don't wanna make a map, but I want one, here's how you can get one. All right, so those are the mats. And like I said, this is the mat I'm going to take. Um, I should take the Florida one since I'm going in Florida, but I have this one and I'm enjoying it and loving it. And so I already shared on my floss tube, this is my case I'm bringing. Sorry, I keep knocking the camera. With all of my items in it, okay? So I'll have that. And then also, I have my, I'm gonna bring this um, stitching stand. I also have the metal book stand, which I already showed on my floss tube. Let me move this out of the way. This is a um, wooden stand, and this is what it looks like. It comes apart. This is from Chantel at 141 Design Company. Comes apart, it all lays flat. It does not come with these needle minders. These are mine. Um, but it comes with all three parts. And it comes unfinished. This is just um, sprayed with a clear coat. And on the back, mine, she made me one with my logo, but as a gift. This is not something she does all the time. Um, however, she does have them with different stitching sayings on the back. I absolutely love this and I decided to put stickers on the front. So this is the part I see is the stickers and then the people sitting across from me see the logo or if you had wording on it, it would be on the back. Um, and then you stick this part in and like this. And then you would stick, if I can get my needle minder to cooperate, you would stick, if this was your pattern, you would stick your pattern here and you could read your pattern. So that is the mat, or that is the stand I'm going to take with me. And it will fold up. It doesn't fit in my pocket like I was showing, but I really like this stand. Um, so I wanted to bring this with me. So then I'm going to bring my stand and my box. And I am going to bring, I might try to make one of these, but this is from Handmade by, or well, it's from Jody, who is Simply Stitching Ocala, who's one of my friends who I'm staying with. She made these for her table gift, 
most every retreat. I have a lot of different ones. This is the first one I get and I seem to gravitate towards using this one. I have them all over my house though and you can see I have stuff in it. Um, but it's a little ort container. So you can stick it on your um, table and put your orts in here and then you just throw it away. This is made with fabric and this is some Bonnie and Camille fabric she made. Um, so I might try to make some in the mercantile fabric so it matches, but if not, this is great too. It doesn't all have to match. Um, so inside of my case, a few things I will bring are obviously my scissors, my needles, which my favorite needles are the 28 count peacemakers. I will also bring some of these, which are thimble pads to stick on your finger. Um, I don't always use these, but when I'm stitching a lot, and I'm, I stitch using the sewing method, I tend to poke my finger right here. And so I stick it there so that I'm able to stitch more. So I will bring those for sure. And obviously my needle minder. And I might bring a couple other things in my box, but that's kind of all of my stitching things that I will bring in the box. So that will go in my bag. I will also be bringing, let me switch back over here. I will also, again, let's not have an avalanche. <laughs> I am also going to be bringing, this is my bag I'm going to put all of my things in that I'm going to bring. This is a bag, a tote. It has these leather handles. It also has these handles, so I can wear it on my shoulder or I can hold it like this. Now this is from a brand called M Modest Cotton. And I got this from, I got this one from their website, but I have previously, this is the smaller version and I forgot to bring the bigger one in here. Um, I have a larger one that I bought from Chantel at 141 Design Company and I, believe she's going to have some more of these for sale or if there is interest she will get them in her shop um it's a really fun bag you can use it for cross stitch you can use it to take on a trip i mean you could use it for whatever now i know there's more people out there it's not just me but i am a bag person um and i like to have all kinds of different bags um, so this is the bag I'm choosing to bring this time. So I'll put my mat and my stand and my case and whatever projects I have chosen to bring. I'm still undecided. <laughs> I'm like I said, I'm recording this early and I'll it will be showing on Friday, but um, I don't know what I'm bringing yet. I'm have a couple things in my mind I'm thinking about. So that'll go in there. Um, and that's what I'm bringing to the retreat. So I also wanted to, I'm gonna go back to the other camera. I wanted to show real quick the inside of the case. So when you um, <clears throat> buy this, this is the jewelry case and I'll link it again below from Amazon. And when you get it, this is what it looks like on the inside. So what I did, and I'll show you, cause I did bring this one upstairs. This is my um, French general fabric one. This, so what I did is I took, like you just tear this out. So then it looks like that. This was the ring part, you tear it out. This I tore out as well. I don't wanna shake the table. So you tear this out, you tear all of this part out. And I kept one of these um, dividers, which is this part right here. Then I also cut off this elastic, which you could leave the elastic if you wanted. I just didn't want it to be there. So I cut that off. Up here is where I glued. In this one, I glued some ribbon. I also glued the rickrack in the other cases. And then you're gonna wanna measure the inside. And this is what the sticky board looked like after I measured to get it to stick in the bottom. Okay, one suggestion I have, 
is, and I'm not doing a whole tutorial today, but I just wanted to share, this is press on board. When you figure out the size, cut one out and leave it as a template or cut out some paper as a template. Otherwise, every time you go to make another one, if you're gonna make multiple, you will have to figure it out each time. So it took me three cases making before I was smart enough to make the template. So just a word of advice, make a template once you figure out the right size. And as you can see, when I put this in, there's like a few little gaps, which is why I put, in this one I put the chenille um, along the edge, and it's decorative and it kind of hides your seams, so to speak. So that, I just covered this with the fabric. I glued it down. Um, I've also seen where people have put fabric along the edge here. In addition, um, you can put other things up at the top. I just have in here some, this is from Five Times Blessed on Etsy. She just has an old um, pin with some buttons and you could make that yourself. I have some uh, of my floss cards up here. I also like to, and this happens to be from Teresa Coget, but I like to have a corner gauge in my box, which I need to put one in my uh, Lori Holt box. I have my needle minder, um, which this one was an, a special gift from uh, Chantel as well. And pretty, I mean, then you could put your needle book here. I don't have a needle book that goes in this one. So you could put glasses in here. You could put the scissors could go down in here. The scissors can go up at the top, like however you want to do it. But it's just fun. I've seen all kinds of other things. If you search, I feel like it's like stitching box, stitching jewelry box, something like that. Lots of ideas will come up. Also, uh, Tanya from the Scarlet House, she has made quite a few, and so has Sherry, the Colorado Cross Stitcher. And on Sherry, who is Colorado Cross Stitcher, on her YouTube, she has uh, Tanya with her, and they make a box on her one of her videos. And I will, if I can find it, I'll link it below. And it goes step by step on how to make the box. At some point, I might do a tutorial and have it on my YouTube channel, but for right now, I, it's not there. And I encourage you to go over and check out um, the one that is on Tanya's, or I'm sorry, it's with Tanya, but it's on Sherry Colorado Cross Stitchers um, YouTube channel. All right, so that is what I am bringing with me to the retreat for gifts and roommate slash table gifts and the host of the retreat along with the designer. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you guys before I left and all of the things went out to the recipients. Um, and like I said, I'll also have had some pictures at the beginning so you can see the different uh, variations of the needle books that I made. They're all with the mercantile fabric with the exception of Jody's and Alicia's. And all I had was a fat quarter bundle and I made all of these along with I used it for my, some of the fat quarter bundle I used for my mat along with I used some of it to make my needle books and I made some other. So if you like a line buying a fat quarter bundle, this is a way to use it. I am, I love to sew as well, but I just haven't had an, a lot of time to sew. And this was a way to use fabric that I enjoyed looking at and I wanted to use in a different way. So just another idea if you love fabric just like I do. So I hope you guys have a great Friday. I hope that you get lots of stitching in and I am excited to come back from my retreat and report on all of the fun things, share with you what happened, what we got, um, some pictures. Hopefully I will be remembering to take pictures <laughs> of who I met and some, some things to show you. But until then, I hope you guys have a great week and I'll talk to you later.